Hello again. Is uh, Trump finished? Well, the surprisingly good performance of the uh, Democratic Party in the American midterm elections surprised everyone. And it also raised the question of whether Trump's power in the Republican Party is diminishing. Uh, there's a growing tide to this effect in the American press and some of the press elsewhere. Some would say that this signals the final demise of Trump and what he stands for, while, of course, others believe that this is only a, a temporary set, setback. As usual, I, I look at both sides. So let's start out with those who say, uh, yes, he is, he is finished. He's toast. <laughs> well, to begin with, the uh, New York Post, uh, a newspaper which has always supported Trump, uh, said in an editorial after the elections that it is, quote, time for him to go. Uh, Ron DeSantis, his biggest rival for the 2024 uh, Republican nomination for the presidential election, uh, won a landslide victory as, uh, for re-election as governor of, of Florida. This was, this was clearly a bitter blow to Trump, who, who has spoken out against DeSantis, uh, confirming, as it did, the arrival of a new party leader. Uh, oh dear, uh, Trump must see him as really a, a bête noir. <laughs> it is now quite clear that the officials of the Republican Party will want to get rid of Trump, fearing that an internecine battle between him and DeSantis will, of course, weaken the party's electoral successes in the next election. They certainly don't want civil war doing any more damage than has already been done by Trump to the party. A number of right-wing politicians whom uh, Trump uh, backed during this election and who were favored to win surprisingly lost. And this, too, was seen as a kind of a, a repudiation of uh, Trump support. In other words, they lost because Trump was endorsing them. My goodness, uh, that must have been humiliating for Trump. The Washington Post's comment was, quote, the big story of this election is the damage Trump has done and the price Republicans have paid for not standing up to him sooner. That's a pretty succinct comment which summarizes the situation the party is in. Uh, David Urban, one of Trump's former advisors, said after the elections that everyone is telling him that it is time for Trump to step aside. One journalist uh, from a well-known network, <laughs> which was a longtime supporter of Trump, said, quote, If the voters conclude that you're putting your own ego or your own grudges ahead of what's good for the country, they're going to look elsewhere, period. Uh, look, it's all over for Trump. He's a spent force, and he's yesterday's man. If he had any class, he would acknowledge that and disappear. And in any case, he must now really devote his time and energy to defending himself against the myriad of crimes for which he is being uh, investigated, not the least of which is his uh, investigate his uh, support for the uh, assault on the Capitol. He is down and out. Well, of course, there are those who say no, he is not finished. Uh, uh, they would say America has never had a politician and presidential candidate like Trump in the way in which. He has been able to uh, galvanize the passions of his followers. Uh, that power means everything in politics. Uh, so it would be naive to assume that he's a spent force. Uh, he's only slightly weakened by a temporary electoral setback. Um, the uh, formidable Make America Great campaign is still there. And having been tapped... Uh, will we'll never disappear. It'll always be there. The genie is out of the bottle. Trump is there to be of service to this huge sector of the American public. They are still devoted. The supposedly emerging power of 
Ron DeSantis, uh, the governor of okay. California, uh, of as a kind of a new uh, leader of the party, is dubious. Uh, he has yet to be proven outside the state of Florida. And Trump will be a spiritual and emotional leader for this country for as long as he's physically able. It's just as simple as that. Well, what's my take on this? Uh, I, I have never been anything but embarrassed and appalled that a low-life character like Donald Trump should have become the president of the United States. It's been just awful and really uh, hard to stomach. And also that he could have commanded the intensity and fervency of popular devotion and following that he has. Uh, I have to say that for him to have done so is uh, and what unsettling insight into the personality and souls of a very large number of Americans. It, it, it does not uh, bathe them in glory. On the other hand, it has become increasingly obvious in recent months, particularly because of these congressional investigations, how much Trump had to do with the assault on the Capitol and therefore why he really is an enemy of democracy and culpable of treason. The majority of Americans have now woken up to this, and that's why he is as dead as a doornail. I hope you agree, and in any case, take a look at some of the similar videos uh, here, and subscribe, please. Thanks very much.